Welcome to another tutorial. We'll discuss today about uh, Java arrays. Let's take an a example and then see why do we need arrays. Here is an example and we have a uh, in this we want to store names of six people. So to do that in this case what we are doing is since there are six people we say name one Sam name two Amy continue until we hit name six which is Bob this will work for when we have six names what happens if we have thousand names or hundred thousand names that will be too tedious isn't it it's called arrays Arrays will be nothing but a, a table where each of the element is stored in a separate place. And it will have a name. For example, in our case, we will call that as names because it stores names of the persons. So names and it will have an array. How do we access each of these elements, each of the names? So we do that by index we we number them and we enclose them in a square brackets so for example it starts with zero names zero points to sam names one will be amy similarly names five will be bob let's take a program and understand this better we will declare a variable which refers to an array in our example, we call that as names. And to mention that it is an array, we need to put them in two square brackets, like this. Here in this statement, we are going to create an array of size 6. We use the new operator to create it. And once we create this, we assign it to names. If you go back to our graphic, names is the variable that refers to the array and we create the array of six elements, this part. Coming back to the program, we assign, we initialize each of these elements. So names of zero, basically we are enclosing zero in angle brackets equals Sam names 1 equals Amy names 2 equals Jane Jane similarly we go all the way till names 5 equals Bob how do we print it we basically say system dot out dot print ln and refer to that element again names of 0 we are pointing to Sam so we will keep on doing it until names of 5 we are basically we are creating the array initializing it with the names and then printing it let's go ahead and run this there we go it printed Sam Amy Jane Bill Mike and Bob Java provides simpler way to write the previous program first thing is we can initialize an array implicitly by enclosing it in curly braces curly brackets it will be Sam Amy Jane all these needs to be separated by comma and enclosed in curly brackets and we assign it to string names and an array indicated by angle brackets so this will initialize and create an array of size 6 automatically and we can use the for loop to go through this array and then print it out here is how it works int i for int i equals 0 i less than names dot length look at the names names is our array and dot length tells what is the length of the array in our case it's it's 6 since we say less than that means anything less than 6 and we increment the operator here uh, counter and we just print names of i so when it comes first time in the loop names 0 will be Sam names 1 will be Amy 
So similarly, it continues until it reaches five. Names five is Bob. When it reaches six, six is not less than six, and it comes out of the loop. Let's run this and understand. So there we go. It prints all the names. Let's take a look at another example. Here what we are doing is we are creating an array of integers. In this case, we have just creating an array of to store the scores. And the scores would be 4, 2, 3, 5. This will create an array of integer type and the size will be 4 because there are 4 elements here. And we want to find the sum of these scores. To do that, we say int sum equals 0 and go through each of the elements and add the sum, sum it up and then print the sum here. So when the array comes for the first time, i will be 0, scores of i, uh, scores of 0 is 4. It will assign it to sum, which is 4. Next time, scores of 1 would be value 2. So it keeps on adding it and then at the end it prints it. Let's go ahead and then run this program and see this. The total is 14. 4, 6, 9 and 14. So it will print the 14. So that's about arrays.